it is oft speculated which of the varied forms of love is most powerful. One might perceive that it is the familiar storage, citing the pure love and hope in the heart of a mother, or the righteous pride with which a warrior defends their nation and kin. Another may prefer that it is instead the empathetic agape, owing to the compassion of a godly soul opening her heart to the needy, or the selflessness of an activist championing a cause far greater than themselves. Still, others may suggest it is the committal pragma on so account of the continual process of growth and understanding that evolves over the course of a lifetime with one's partner, exuded by those when they deeply know another person so wholly and intimately. Regardless of each type's relative potency, it can be generally agreed upon that love is universally powerful, it is patient, it is dynamic, it is magical. It was with this universal sense of love that so vast earth in her warmth. It was with this patience she tended to the planet, nurturing its life across eons. From the industrious Archaea she watched, laying the bedrock for complex life forms. She the sapient humans with the boundless innovation and creativity. So loved it all, no matter its form, and with unrivaled intensity. Then there was the hateful. He was another of her kind, older. His domain was blessed in not having just one but two satellites trying to generate the bounty of life. Unlike so, however, the hateful was arrogant and impulsive. None of the life forms of his oceanic rithlos, the felt eyes of vision to gaze upon him, so he lashed out, boiling the fledgling ecosystem for this perceived slight. The extremophiles of the frigid tempters, though capable of complex feats of intelligence and adoption of learned behavior, never progressed to a sufficiently high degree of intellect or reasoning to genuinely appreciate their son's gift. As such, they too were consumed by his malice. The hateful envied so, despised her, he looked upon the world she painstakingly cultivated with absolute scorn. Furious and indignant that she should be graced with the complexity and fearability of its inhabitants, he raged at its dominant species, venerations of her presence echoed throughout the cosmos, forever reverberating her praises to the brethren. The hateful then directed his anger towards Earth, he began moving with single-minded determination, emanating contempt and spewing vitriol. So became aware of the hateful's intentions as he began his bitter campaign and grew concerned, though she had known life to be resilient, shrugging off one extinction event after the other. The arrival of the hateful would be an insurmountable catastrophe. The beings she cared for would be obliterated en masse in a nuclear conflagration and die hopelessly screaming. Not even the brightest minds of the world's highest body of research, with knowledge both mystic and mundane, had a solution to the challenge imposed by the hateful. The more prevailing proposals incorporated occult rituals perfected across the millennia of humanity's existence but for all their influence, they do not possess the power or resources to spark the large-scale reactions necessary for planet-wide protection. So knew what had to be done. Brimming with unbridled love, she began to change. Her radiating warmth will act as a bulwark against the destruction threatened by her sibling. Her rays, an outpouring of her duration of life, would grant those basking in its glory an immunity as unbreakable as the bond she shared with him. As the hateful one ravaged and tore his way to the neighboring galaxies, so became bemused by his impotent rampage, reveling in the thought of his arrival.
because once he descends upon Earth, he will discover the population can not only endure his onslaught, but prosper in spite of it. After all, love conquers hate.